Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Hey, representation is everything, and that's why seeing black couples in healthy, loving relationships is so important, not only for the black community, but for our entire society. And the docuseries Black Love on OWN is helping to change the narrative one couple at a time. I'm waiting on the front steps of the property. This guy shows up with a whole construction crew, and I'm like, what are you doing here? And he said, what are you doing here? And I said, well, I'm flipping this house. And he goes, well, I'm the team that's here to save your life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I started looking at him a little differently. Wow, well, of right course, now. that was our beautiful co-host, <laughs> Egypt. Little... Yes. Hey, handsome. Oh, all right. Hey. Oh. Well, where did Not on the from? couch here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Her husband, <laughs> Mike DJ Fidel Jackson, is here hey, as well. Hey. Hi. Thank you for having me, ladies. Back. Stop. What? Just a moment. What? What? I can't believe I made it to the couch. You made it to the couch. All the times I've been here, I've been on that side. Ah. I've not been on this side. You, you, okay, so let me get my interview stand. Yeah, okay. It, okay. You do get know you're a baby. superstar, right? Okay. <laughs> no, you, got, you got to show them them shoes, though. Uh, uh, oh, they Shoe cam. cam. Shoe cam. <laughs> yes. He bought them for me. That's why nice, he said that. Nice. Well, right. well, let's get into your Instagram. What is going on with the Pamper Monarchs? I mean, the Pamper Monarchs. Yes. Oh, my God. New baby. Your brand new baby. <laughs> I, I, I am just a co-star. Uh, uh, <laughs> ever. Oh, my, that's oh my, my God. That's my six-month-old Harper. Yes. Let me just jump in here. So my husband hurt himself uh, a couple weeks ago. As you see, he has a cast yeah. on his hand. He uh -huh. cut his finger off. Mm. off. They've been able to reattach yes. it, but while uh. he's been home, he's been driving me nuts. And <laughs> and he's coming up with all these crazy things. And this is one of them, wasting diapers that oh cost a gosh. lot of money. It's all right, though. It's like Game it's right of Thrones, though. but so with babies. He calls it the I Panther actually start, started the idea with Kendall, okay. our um, seven-year-old. Um, I told her we were um, pamper investigators. And when I remembered <laughs> that, fun. I said, you know what I'm going to do with Harper so she can have that experience. But I want to turn it into a whole series. Oh, that so is I've just been turning it, doing one ever. episode after each episode and yeah. calling it the HPO home pamper office. Uh, oh, <laughs> they're, they're, that's where it's coming on. So okay. let me just say, I'll run in the room when he posts, like, would you stop wasting diapers? Right. He just posts this on Instagram. And then she's like, put me in the next episode. And then my... <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. Call so my manager. Cute. Call yes. my manager. Well, but no, seriously, the management's like, hey, so your husband's been doing this thing on... We're getting some calls from, like, Pampers, and, huh, and, and they're interested in sponsoring episodes what? of the them. Pamper Monarchs, y'all. See what oh, happened right. was, yeah. I knew what I was doing. Right. Let them. Let them. Let, let, let's talk about you two. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, how did you guys find out that they wanted to feature your love story? Mm. Uh, actually, I think a good friend, Sarita. Yeah, a friend of ours said, "Would you guys ever consider yeah. talking about your relationship on television?" Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. up until now, really, I, we have not. Mm -hmm. I've, I've been on my television show on mm -hmm. HGTV, but we've never gotten Done anything intimate together right. like because, that. Because no. you know, you want to keep a piece for mm -hmm. yourself. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. you, you give the world what you want to give the world, mm -hmm. but then you want to keep your relationship sacred. And so mm -hmm. we really, we went back and forth. First we were going to say no. Yeah. You can, you said, let's I, do it. I, I, my thing was, it, it's needed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's put it out there. I, I think we represent what a powerful black couple looks like. So mm -hmm. why not put it out there? Yeah. You know? So I wasn't against it yeah. at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you as a, as, a, as a black man, how do you feel like it's so important for you to express that type of love to your wife in a setting as So such. it's something that I definitely <clears throat> want my daughters to see. I have three daughters, 17, 7, and newborn. Um, it's something that I want my young cousins to see. When I say cousin, I'm talking about the male, from the yes, male aspect. Yes. Well, I speak at a lot of schools as well, and I see what they lack. Mm -hmm. And I want them to see the representation. I'm not just going to talk about it. I'm going to be about it. And that's what I get pulled to the side mm -hmm. for a lot. Hey, brother, I love what you're doing with your kids. I love how you treat your wife. I love yeah. it. And once you constantly get that, you want to do more of it. Because yes. I honestly wake up every day, I say, listen, I want the world to be a better place, and I'm going to be one of the reasons that it is. Oh, that's <laughs> good. That's, so cool. that's good. Good. You're married. <laughs> <laughs> that is Keep too wearing them shoes. Oh, I might not be. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, call me. Oh, come on now. Wait, wait I'll now. I'll give you my number now. after the show. I'll give you my number later. <laughs> they talk television. I love it. You guys are, you guys are so cute. And, but I have to ask you guys, so how do you really approach, like, the challenges and how do you overcome, you know, especially being in the limelight, you know, because mm -hmm. people, they got things to say. So mm -hmm. how, how do you just really approach it head on? Let's just be clear. We're not perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, just because we're on black love or we're sitting on this couch talking does not mean that we do not have issues. Mm -hmm. Like, I might chase him down the street with a hot frying pan one day. Okay. 
<laughs> might not catch and me, it, though, but yeah, <laughs> you, can try, you can attempt to. <laughs> but but so we're figuring it out, yeah. just like everybody else. And I think that's what the show Black Love Doc is all about, having a dialogue, not just about mm -hmm. how do you get married, but how do you stay mm -hmm. yes. married. Yes, absolutely. And that's something that is really missing in, in the black community. It is. Because, mm -hmm. you know, when we, when we got together, um, we didn't have a lot of other couples to sort of, mm -hmm. you know, to really draw from. And yeah. I do think that when you're in a coupleship, you should look to people who are staying together. Yes. Because you'll have friends who love you, and but they'll always be like, girl, leave them. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, telling him, man, why do you want to be locked down? But when you look at couples who've, who've made it work and they're yes. happy yeah. and they're healthy and they're whole, they're mm -hmm. not just existing yes. together. Ooh. That's that's what we wanted. Yes. Right, right. Ugh. So you guys have been, been married nine years together, 15, and you just brought a new baby into the mm -hmm. into the mix how is her presence different for you as a couple as opposed to when it's just two girls um well i would say i mean there's a lot to it but honestly <laughs> i would <laughs> just tell the truth babe tell me it's okay it's no okay. i'm gonna go I there i told them in a dressing room i'm gonna go there <laughs> so basically what she i'll start there then yeah. i didn't want another kid mm -hmm. at all i was very adamant about it and i would be very stern. We'd be at family gatherings, and they would say, "Oh, when's the new one coming?" She'd be, "Oh, so I'm like, no, it's not. It's not happening. Wow. It's but, not. But because our schedules, I thought it would be unfair. But you're leaving something big out. What's that? You're leaving out how how long I we tried, and I kept trying to talk you into so it. This what happened when you get mad. Uh, I was gonna go there. But you, but you, you go but, ahead, and let them finish. Oh, yeah. I think it's important because there's a lot of women that are going through yes. it as well. And so I experienced some fertility mm -hmm. issues mm -hmm. early on when we were gonna do it. Right after Kendall, the doctors kept telling me no because of fibroids and endometriosis yeah. and a lot of issues. Mm -hmm. um, and then. Then he just was like, well, I don't want to do it anymore. And I'm like, but it's still in my heart, you know? <laughs> and, and so we started talking about adoption. And he did not want to adopt because he felt that he may not be able to love another child the way he loves his biological children. Mm -hmm. But it was so, so important to me. It split yeah, us up. Real. No, yeah. listen, it split us up. It was mm -hmm. that important. Yeah. Then what happened in June of last year? June of it last year while we were in Africa? Yeah. Yeah. So. During this whole, I don't want it, I don't want it, I don't want it. See, it wasn't that I didn't want another kid. I didn't want to plan for another kid. Mm -hmm. To say, okay, let's start now for another six months or nine months, we'll be there. And I said, let's not do it. So we were in Africa. It was like, let's say it was a Monday. She wasn't pregnant. Tuesday, she was in the mirror, <laughs> had a belly. I said, what happened? Well, how are you pregnant? Mm -hmm. We had no idea. Immaculate she conception. <laughs> <laughs> but get to your point, even though we didn't want I didn't want it. She's been a blessing to our family. Yes. yes. Extreme so blessing. I wouldn't have it any other way, right. to be honest with you. That's right. And she wouldn't would have never see that, She will never see that daddy didn't want it because she, uh, he is, he, she never. has got him so wrapped. Well, y'all see, he got a diaper on his head yeah. like a crazy <laughs> man. Right. 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 Good. Well, we're so glad that <laughs> yes. you all are sharing your love, thank not you, only girl. with mm -hmm. us, but the world. And thank you so much, Mike. Mm -hmm. Always Appreciate good to see you. Thank you. Black Love Air Saturdays at 9 Central on OWN.